Place over there, Scott Gibson, and he didn't know what it is. I'm getting all kinds of votes on social media. The, the overwhelming choice is just lizard of some kind. Yeah, like, not a gay. Too small, right? To well, be a gator. babies are like four, five, six inches yeah, sometimes. Maybe. I all don't right. know. I, I'm not. A, I said on social media, I'm not a reptile person, but I sort of feel sorry for the guy. Well, he's dead, so I, <laughs> I, I feel sorry for him, too. Right. Some hawk got him and dropped him on a building, and he's no longer alive. Oh, okay. So I feel terrible for this little thing. Moving on. Wild <laughs> times in the animal kingdom <laughs> of Cincinnati, right? Survival of the fittest, <laughs> Kevin, this one lost. Wild animal, animal planet here in Cincinnati, and wild weather moving in, too. <laughs> yeah, you know, for so much of this winter, we've had an absence of any cold weather. I mean, I know it's been warm, right, and record-setting warm, but not warm enough for gators in Cincinnati, I don't think. Let's see what happens here as we look down the road going into the day on Thursday. Here we are. Yes, snow is likely. We are likely to see flakes flying around the tri-state during the day on Thursday. Right now we are leaning towards lighter amounts versus heavier amounts. What we're keeping a close eye on as we move forward is the actual track of this storm. You want to be to the south or excuse me, you want the storm track to be to your south so that you're on the colder side of it, right? But if it's too far south, then you end up with less snow. And that's where the question marks begin to pile up here. So our confidence, pretty good. We're feeling good. There's some flakes flying on Thursday for us. Where we begin to get a little more unsure is in the overall amounts of the snow. One thing I will say tonight is that for you snow fans out there, it does look likely for at least some Again, some accumulation across the tri-state. I actually think that's probably a pretty good bet. We at least have some accumulation, whether or not it's light or heavy. That we still got to work out here and probably won't know for sure for at least another day or so. But we are certain that there's cold air that's coming behind that. All right, here tonight, before all of that happens, it's cold now, but we've got a warm up coming tomorrow. High pressure slides across the Ohio Valley tonight. We'll be on the back side of that. Tomorrow looks like a beautiful midwinter day around the tri state. In fact, it's not happening here tonight, but if you look out to the west, look at this orange and red. This is where we will be tomorrow night. More of that will be across the Ohio Valley. So tomorrow night will be much milder, as will the day tomorrow, but that's after a very cold start. We're already down into the 20s. We'll drop another couple of degrees tonight. Then our winds switch around to the south. That breaks our fall overnight, and we just wait for some sunshine to jump in tomorrow, and temperatures should respond very nicely. So Cold and frosty tonight. We're down to between 20 and 25 for most of us with those overnight lows. You can see high pressures right on top of us. There's hardly any breeze out there. Once the high goes east, our winds start to turn around. Well, that may be happening. We've got a little light southerly wind now. So again, our temperatures are starting to level out for the overnight. As cold as 21 in Harrison, 20 Loveland, 26 Batavia, 20 West Union, Hillsboro down to 19. Now you're in the low 20s in southeast Indiana. It's 20 in Mount Healthy and Wyoming, 22 currently in Dell High. So let me show you future cast. Not much to see here. Sunshine tomorrow, about a 10 degree jump. We're into the 40s for which should be a fantastic January day. Check the clouds rolling in tomorrow night. That means a milder night tomorrow night. In fact, I don't think we drop below freezing. Your Wednesday starts mild. The Arctic front won't arrive until later in the day. When that happens, temperatures drop really low Wednesday night down into the teens. And then we set the stage for the potential snowmaker on Thursday. So frosty tonight, 22 for your overnight low. And then for tomorrow, a little warmer, a light breeze, 45. Should be a nice, you know, January afternoon. Your seven day forecast, obviously Thursday, your weather impact day there with the snow. There's the cold in here Thursday night into Friday. And then by the weekend, it's warm enough when the next system comes through Saturday night that it's rain. So classic winter so far, a couple of days cold, but overall generally mild and we're back to that over the weekend. At least we're ready. We're warned. Thank you, Kevin. What's well, going to